Welcome to the crack of dawn. Me. Go. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi, and I'm so glad you're tuning in. We're going to do another Ann Packard, okay? I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks hard, but no, it's houses. It's not that hard to do, okay? So again, you can see, whoops, it left. Hold on. Here it is. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, it looks like it's hard, but it's another Ann Packard, okay? So I'm going to keep this in front of me. I probably would have, should have done, is I would have gone to CVS and gotten a print of this so I could tape it right to the top of my painting, but you know, I didn't do it. Oh, it's me. So let's get started. Now, I didn't mix any paint this time. I just have, I'll show you what I have. So I have a plate right from my uh, cabinet because I don't have any paper plates and I can't find my palettes. I have a cup of water with a whole bunch of brushes in them, okay? And I'm gonna take the colors that I need, which is gonna be blue, okay? I can't see without these up close. I should have my painting glasses on. I wore them today, Eric. They looked great. So I'm gonna put the paint, a lot of it, whoopsie, it squirted all over. Didn't get on me though, did get on my chair. Okay, I do have a paper this time, okay? So, okay, we're ready to go. So, I've got my blue. I've got to get some yellow out. I'm going to use this yellow, like, sandy beach color, okay? I don't know what it's called. It's called yellow ochre. I should know that, okay? I'm going to put that out. I'm also going to get some yellow, okay? Put that out. Okay, I hope everybody's been good. Uh, we work remotely on Wednesdays, so I got to stay here. Had a couple meetings. My principal's so nice. I love her. Um, yeah, work at a great place. Love it. Um, getting out the colors here. So I've got yellow, ochre, white, whatever kind of blue you have. Because you know what? If it doesn't match hands, it doesn't matter. I'm trying a cerulean. I put out a cobalt, but I'm going to do a cerulean instead. And again, if it gets stuck, just put a pencil in it like that putting it right in the water and then it should come out okay okay just so you can see okay now what I'm going to do is going to get a brown for the house that's going to be a basic brown like this okay and I'm going to need black oh, it's getting all stuck here don't worry if it does doesn't matter you can poke a hole right through it see like this Okay, and then I'm going to put that right in the water, okay? Putting that right on. Be careful that it doesn't dry out, because a lot of times it does. Okay, you can see that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little. And I'm going to need some green. Okay, so I'm going to put some green in too. Okay, Let's see if I have some green. If I don't, uh, blue and yellow make green, but I do have green. Uh, it is a phthalo green, which is a little dark for me, so I'm going to have to mix some yellow with that to make it the green that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the horizon line. Remember, the horizon line is where the sky meets the ground, okay? Very easy. I'm going to hold my picture like this because it's very hard for me to paint without it, okay? My horizon line, it looks to me like the sky is very taller than the ground. It goes straight across. Okay, the ocean comes out of here, and it goes that way, and then it kind of goes that way. Okay, this has a little bit of green showing, then a little bit of brown showing, and then there's a house, hold on. There's a house here, okay? Houses are easy because, you know, they're just straight. Okay, it has a chimney there, and then it has a window there. There's another smaller house coming out of this, okay, going up like this. It's like a little cottage kind of thing. And then there's another cottage next to that one. They're going to get bigger as they're coming closer to you because when things get smaller, uh, when things go farther away, or rather, they get uh, smaller. Put the roof there. Now the next house comes right out of here. It's got a porch. Okay? And it goes up like this. If I go off the paper, I don't mind. Okay? Because it's not going to be... It's. A, I'm trying to do an Ann Packard, but if it doesn't look close to hers, I'm not going to really mind so much. The chimney's a little closer, right here. Okay, hopefully you can see pretty good here. Okay, chimney's a little closer. 
okay? And then that porch comes out like this, goes across. Here's some porch things. It's got three of them, it's got four of them, okay? And then the porch goes out like this, like a window kind of thing. My sister has this on her beach house. If you remember when I was filming there this summer, it was so fun. I love her beach house. Right on the ocean. I mean, it's gorgeous. People walking by. I don't know if she loves the people walking by. I think so. Okay, and that's about it. Okay? Uh, if mine doesn't come out like hers, I'm not going to worry so much because, you know, mine's going to be mine. And remember, it's hard working from a phone like this. The first thing we're going to do is make the sky. Okay? And I'm going to take a larger brush so I can move it around fast. Okay, it looks like it's pretty much exactly this color. Just a little white mixed into her. Okay? Hopefully I didn't get any on my new carpet for my dad and mom. Yeah, my dad sells real estate. He has his own company, his own real estate company. And, um, you know, some people leave stuff behind. They're like, I don't want this. So they'll stage the house. Don't forget to paint the sides. And, uh, yeah, he's like, Dawn, I have this great carpet. I'm like, ugh, really? I don't know. And he goes, it's brand new. And I'm like, well, maybe I do want it. And then my decorator girl came over and said it was perfect. She's like, put it in the living room. I mean, put it in the dining room. So that's where it is, actually. It's right in here with me. Um, if I want to make some of it lighter, it can be. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I do have to add a lot of water if I'm going to want to let, let my paint come down to the uh, horizon line. So again, yeah, it was snowing today. We did not have a, my kids had a two hour delay which meant they got to wake up at 9.30, which was perfect. This will probably be two episodes. If I can paint for an hour, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying, okay? It takes a long time to fill up a large canvas like this, but I didn't have a smaller one, and Ann Packard does, she does all sizes, I think, but um, I'm not sure, really. Uh, I've gone into her galleries and stuff, but sometimes they'll, they'll do a cliche print, which is just a print. It's a fancy print, but you know what? It's still not the real deal. So like if you're ever buying a print and you're like, oh, we got a cliche, it's usually the closer number to the highest number. So if you have one out of 900 prints, you know, that's a good print. That means it's the first one out of 900. If you have 899, that's not worth as much. But it's still, to me, it's a print, you know? It's not, a, it's not the real painting. It looks great, but it's like, you know, you can just go to CVS. Sorry to all the artists that sell the cliches, but I've never done well with them. Um, and I always, you know, ruin it because I'm like, it's not the real thing. Why don't you just buy the real one? Or why don't you tell me what you want or do something in your budget? I've been known to do that. Dawn, I can't afford your painting, but how much would it cost to do something over or something like that? And usually I say, what's your budget? You know, whether it's $20, $100, you know, I like to make it so people have my paintings. I usually have a lot of cerulean blue, but I really don't today. So I'm going to just try to wing it because I got to save enough. I don't think I do. Let's see. I might have to change the sky, which is going to change everything because you're changing the light, you know? So let's see if I do have some, but I wanted to show you how I struggle sometimes looking for the right color. I got another darker blue. I don't know if I have a cerulean. Let's see. Don't worry because you know what? If I don't have it, I wouldn't use it anyway. I might have done another painting, but... All right, no, I don't have any more. I don't see any cerulean blue. I usually have, yes, uh, cobalt. Eh, okay, we might have to change the sky. And the water. Oh, it looks cerulean, though. That's the thing. This is um, Blick Art. So this is really good paint, Blick. The other kind I had was a different brand, which sometimes it means that, yeah, this is perfect, okay? Same, same blue. This is cobalt over here. This is cerulean. So that's going to work out just fine. If I have to add some more white, you know, I'm just going to throw it in there, okay? Just have fun with it. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're trying to fill up some serious paint here. The uh, water is a reflection of the sky, okay? So uh, you're going to put this, the water the same color. I want it to be flat, because Anne doesn't have a lot of, I don't think, I should check again. I don't think she has, no, she doesn't have any clouds in there. Just flat color, okay? I can fix it later, you know, I'm trying to show you how to paint, so it's not a big deal that I can go back later and fix it. Plus, I can turn off the cameras, and then when I turn them back on, you can see 
that I filled in all this stuff. Okay, I like to be like Bob Ross because I like to show you, you know, that it's doable and it doesn't have to take all day. I know some people that take hours. I can't do that. Um, I have, you know, certain commissions take me longer, especially if they're harder. Okay, um, I'm going to go all the way down. There's one house there. All the way down, even in between, if the sky is doing that. There's my dishwasher. Oh, thank you, Joanne, my dishwasher. It's a Bosch. She's like, do you want it? I'm like, yes, I do. I want it. She gave it to me. It's so nice. So that's what I got, a Bosch. I love it. Yeah, my refrigerator, I've gone through about four of them. All the stuff you buy is a bunch of junk. Sorry, but it's like you can't find anything good anymore, except her dishwasher, but I know it was expensive. Even that kind is falling apart, but not like it doesn't work. It's just like the little wheels that you, you go push it in, they fall off, I can't find them. Yeah, it's like I can't find my teeth. You know what I'm saying? I know that's crazy to say on the air, but I, uh, I bit into something and broke my tooth. Mm -hmm. I've never had a cavity in my life, never, never. And my teeth were perfect. Broke the tooth, it was a disaster. So the guy was like, we'll do a Maryland bridge. I'm like, what is that? I gotta do that roof over, but I can do it later. A Maryland bridge. So I'm like, what is that? I traded him, awesome guy, Dr. P. And I traded him a painting of American Pharaoh for teeth. Can you believe it? It sounds so crazy, but it's true. I don't like people lying, you know? It's like, so it was so painful to have that tooth pulled that I went to another dentist, Dr. P. He put it in, oh, it probably won't fall out, but if it does, make sure you keep it so I can place it back in. So I put it in a bag when it came out and I lost it. So I'm like, forget it. So that's the first thing on my list because it's pretty bad. It's like ridiculous. I never really had bad teeth, so I didn't have to worry about it. Now I'm just like, this is a disaster. But you know, I'm also older now, so I get it. I'm going over that cobalt because that is not the color that's in Anne's painting. And you can fix it later. Okay, and I'll show you the ending so we don't, you know, get too crazy here. Because I know you just want to paint. Okay, now it looks like a big wheat field, okay? So fun painting. I love painting with y'all. Um, we're going to make this weedy looking field, okay? I'll show you the picture in a second. It's very yellowish, brownish, whitish. So yellow ochre with some yellow and a ton of white should get me where I want. A uh, little bit brown. Looks about right. Okay, so I'm putting this in. It's kind of a very bright, I know it's not sand. It's like that weedy stuff that kind of comes out of the, uh, near the water, that wheat looking stuff. And again, you don't want it all yellow, but I'm gonna just do it all yellow to begin with. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do first. Throw it in there. Remember when your pencil hits the yellow, it's gonna turn that color. So don't let it bother you so much. Throw in a little more white in there because we don't want it all the same color. And then when my timer goes off, I kind of have to race over to uh, the kitchen and I have to check the minutes because I've got my uh, clock on my stove on. Oh, can you believe it? This is a ball. Now on my Ann Packard, there is some green mixed in here. It's a little bit brighter green, so I can use my green like this. Yep, it's a little bit more like this. So I can use this green. It's thrown around here. It's over here a little bit. It's over here. You know, it's probably starting to become, a lot of times when you live near the beach, your, your grass gets all dried out, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some black. I don't have any black on here, so I'm gonna get some out. And I'm gonna do the black glass, but I'm gonna need it. Now my house is more of a dark brown, so I need some of this brown here. I'm gonna go like this to get it. And I had school all day, I don't have any makeup on, you know, I mean it's teeny, I should, but I don't, nothing. Um, plus I'm trying to look younger, so I'm putting on a lot of um, moisturizer. I mean, the, all the, the darker you are, the better you age, everybody knows that one, so it's a problem. I mean, it could be worse for me, because I have kind of my mother's olive Italian skin, but. Not really. Okay, so I'm going to take this brown. I got to see my picture. Okay, and it looks like it's mixed with a lot of white. A lot of white. Okay, I'm just mixing it over here on my green because I can. Okay, it's not perfect. It's got a little blue in it. 
it's like got a little blue in it. How do you tell how to do that? I don't, I, you know, it takes years of painting in college to learn how to get this color that you want. This is the color of like when the, um, uh, what do they call them? Oh, I wanted them on my house. Um, they have them on the Cape. They're called cedar shingles, very expensive. So I tried to get them here, but it was so expensive to do. Basically, it's all up here too, okay? Remember, houses are straight. I'm so excited about my, uh, my cousin Olivia got into Syracuse, oh, for architecture. I'm so proud of her. And my cousin John, her dad, is a, um, he's a professor at College of St. Rose. So if any of your kids go to the College of St. Rose, you gotta say hi to my cousin John. I think he's like the director, I mean the um, professor of like something to do with finance, business management, or marketing, one or the other. I don't even know, but um, I should know. And uh, yeah, so College of St. Rose, Jimmy Fallon went there. Crazy. I don't know if he finished, probably. Who knows? Um, here we go. I'm going to do that. So again, everything should be straight. As you can see, if I go over a part and it wrecks, don't worry, just as long as you can see your line. Your finger works, a piece of pa a paper works, um, a cloth works. Let's, I gotta go back and find the picture. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna make me reset my password and all that. No, it's not, okay. So some of the, um, this part has some windows on it, but I'm just gonna put it because it's there. Okay, and this goes up into a triangle, just like that. Okay, uh, she's majoring in architecture. So obviously this is, has a lot to do with architecture because it's got to look perfect. That part is a little bit lighter, so you just do that, okay? Okay, maybe a little bit more. So just, I can do it all in one brush, okay? Then I have, let's see, I have this roof over here that kind of looks like that. Okay, I don't know if the house is that pointy, but I'm doing it anyway. And then the other roof on one of the houses is a very light gray. So you just want black with, I need a smaller brush for that one. So I'm gonna take this one. Oops, not that one. I'm gonna take this one, yeah. Use my cloth. I'm gonna take this gray and I make it a very light. Okay, and this roof is gray. More water you use, the more it spreads. The more it drips too, but the more it spreads. So I'm going to put that there, like this. Okay. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff from Syracuse, from Amy, the Wild Hat Collection, and uh, it looks like this has pink. Uh, I don't know. It does, but you know what? I'm not going to get out the pink. I'm going to do it my own way. So again, this is going to be. I'm going to make it like the same as the other house. I'm just going to make it kind of brownish. Again, it has some blue in it. Oops, I just mixed some green by accident. And it happens. You know, there's not really much you can do except to, you know, wash the brush, start over. Okay. Um, let's see. Where was I? Um, this roof is kind of greenish, yellowish. Uh, it's kind of weird, but that's the color it is, so I'm going to put it in. Okay, that's this roof right here that I erased by accident. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, you know, it's a crazy color, but that's what she's got, so I'm doing it. Okay, make sure everything's straight. I can fix it if I don't like it. And I'm going to go and do the other house. Then my timer's going to go off, and it's going to say, you know, that time's up. So if it's time's up soon, thanks for tuning into the crack of dawn. And you'll just go right into my dad that next episode, and I'll stop the camera and start over. My daughter sometimes helps me, Natalie. She's great. Um, we're going to go in. And we're going to put in, let's see, we're going to do this dark part underneath because it's a porch. So it's going to be darker underneath. Okay. So we're going to go in and we're going to put it darker just by using black and some dark brown. Okay. So that is going to be in here. Okay. Again, to spread it, just throw some more water in there. Okay. It's pretty dark. So that goes exactly in a rectangle, straight, make sure it's straight, architecture, you know, straight. I'm going to put it in there. Okay. Now my daughter is really into thrifting with her friends. There's a white trimmer on that, so I don't have to worry so much. 
This part is also going to be a triangle. You're going to make it perfect, okay, because it's got to be. Otherwise, the house will fall down, okay? This is probably Provincetown because this is where Anne lived. So I would imagine this is a view from her house. So if you're walking around this beach here, you probably can't, but if you are, you can probably kind of get a glimpse of, if you can find this view of where Anne lives. And she, it's all online and everything, you can see it. This part up here has a, has a dark line there and a dark line here. And this here has some dark windows. One's here and one is on this house here. Okay, that's kind of a bigger house, so I'm going to make it more windows on it. We're making that a bigger one. So this is not the view you're going to see from Anne's. But I'm doing it the way I want, you know? I don't have to do it like hers. I'm going to pull those down. I might have to ditch this house. You know what I'm going to do? I am. I'm going to ditch it because, you know, it looks like it's a little, well, I don't know, maybe not now, but it looks like it's a smaller cottage. So what do you do when that happens? Well, I'll show you. You just simply go over it, okay? So I'm going over that because, and um, it's a smaller roof. So we'll go over this. Uh, again, if it drips, don't worry about it. Fix it later, okay? I'm going to go right down to where my horizon line began. Okay, I'm going to go back up. I'll get rid of those windows later because that's going to be a roof. Or I can just erase the whole darn house, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. I can just do the three houses. Okay, let's do the, um, it's this really pretty picture here, doing by Ann Packard. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in and I'm going to put this roof here because you can't really see it. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here. This part is dark black right here. Oh, it goes all the way down. So it goes all the way down, kind of goes out there. And then we've got this triangle here, which we already did, I'm going to make it a little darker. And this one I'm going to make a little darker too. Okay. Uh, there's some shutter, a window here. Just throw that in, make sure it's straight. And there's a window here, but you can only see half of it. Okay, and then the roof goes down and over, not as much as I made it. So I, I'm just going to do it. Okay, I'm going to add a lot of white with that for the roof. And that's going to be like this. Now, in her painting, it's not as fat. But you know what? I'm doing it however. It's my painting now, okay? There's a lot of people that paint like Anne. I do sometimes. Um, I'm going to put this cedar shingle look back. I would say we're going to be close to 30 minutes. Um, thank you for tuning in. I love it. It's so fun. Okay, let's go in and put that cedar shingle look back, okay, which is going to be white with a bunch of this here, okay? And it's gonna go along the side of the house like this. It's gonna get smaller as it goes to the side. And then it looks like these are gonna have pillars. Okay, like that. Do that later, don't worry about it. This house here is gonna be cedar shingles as well. I'm doing the front that way too, even though Anne's is, in, Anne's is white. It's okay. You can change around with whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to go back in and do that roof over here. So this roof just goes straight across like this. That's it. Okay, so it's going to go right into the other house. It's like, you know, kind of like a nice little house here. And then it doesn't really have any windows. Not that I can see. So I'll go back in. I'm going to start in with some white. I'm going to need a smaller brush. So let's see if I can find one. I got one. Let's see if I got a better one. Again, you don't need a lot of brushes and stuff. Let me get another paper towel. I don't have one. Of course not. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to get some white. And I'm going to put my white here on the side here and add some water so it spreads a little bit easier. And I'm going to put my white. And my white's going to go here and here. There's a little line that separates the window in the middle. I can put that later. And my white's going to go here. And then my white is also going to go on this house here. I'm going to switch it. Nan did put it that way for a reason. So I'm going to put that white here. Again, it's hard to work, you know, when I don't have my camera in. So I miss Len Roy, I miss Joe. All the camera guys were great. This is all going to be white now, okay? It's a very simple painting, so you want to keep it that way. This is going to be white here. 
and I like it. As you can see, it's dripping. All you do is go like that, okay? Just get rid of it. It's not going to go away completely, but it's going away kind of. So I'm going to go in. I wish I had a tinier brush, but I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Here it is. No, it's not. I lied. So I'm stuck with what I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. <clears throat> I'm going to get some more white because I'm running out. You always want to have a plurethra. Plurethra? Is that a word? Oof. God, someone just said, you went to Boston University? I was like, yes, I did. But I was in the art department. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. That's hard to get into. I didn't realize. I told you in the last episode, BC is easier. I thought BC was harder. It probably depends on what subject you're studying, you know. Uh, I have my friend Katie Goldcamp. She went there. Uh, lots of my friend Kathy Leary, her son George, I want to say. Congratulations. I think he's going to law school. I don't know. It's so hard to get into these schools now. I'm trying to get my daughter to go to Porter's. Ugh, I love it there. But again, I don't have the money. I've got to try to figure out a way to get her in there. You know, you got to be good at something or, you know what, something else. I don't know what, but, you know, there's something that is going to get you in. And you know what? If we don't, we don't. We don't care. And she uh, is going to pick. I'm not making my kids do anything. I'm putting the sides of the house on. It's kind of fun to be challenged with a, with a fat brush like this because, you know, I really didn't expect to be using this brush. But I am. Uh, it looks to me like I did my roof all wrong. So what am I going to do? Um, hmm. I think I'm going to have to fix it. So it looks to me like the roof was only about this big and then it went down to here okay that makes more sense okay so we're just gonna do it i mean i made a mistake so if you make mistakes sometimes you just yeah you gotta fix them so that means that my house oh i don't know about that hmm okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm gonna try to wing it and see if i can make it work because <laughs> i don't want to do that okay so what i'm gonna do is go back with that back there okay again there's many ways to skin the cat as my friend Marsha would say, thank God bless you, Marsha. I didn't know. She was one of the funniest ladies I've ever met. Even came to our wedding. Funniest lady. Worked for the Boston Globe as a journalist. Yeah, I loved her. Oh, love her kids. Just missed her. Okay, so let's just go with what we got and see if it's going to work. So I'm going to do that white trim that's like around the houses. And you're going to have to make sure your, your brush is kind of pointy here. Okay, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to put these pillar things here that are coming down. I think there's four of them. I don't know. Maybe there's five. Uh, and then it's called trim work, I think. And if you ever need some trim work done, you can call my friend Jimmer Coventry, uh, my friends Kristen Hastings Silver, and her. We're done. Well, ha! thanks for tuning in. I am going to go top the timer, Brian, and you can cut it off whenever you want. We will come back into the next episode doing the... Ann Packard. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I'll see you soon uh, in the next episode. And thank you so much. Let me know any um, shout outs you want to give me. Give my directors a call and um, Nutmeg TV. Thanks so much. Bye.